Welcome to the world of cosplay conventions. In this video, we'll take a closer look at what it's like to attend your first convention and also some tips and tricks that we discovered on our way at our first convention so that you can have the best convention possible. It's time to embrace your nerd. Hi, Tracy here from Astrocyte Cosplay. Last year, we finally went to our first convention, the Central Coast Comic Con. Now, I know it's a long time coming, but given that we started cosplay at the end of 2019, well, you all know what happened after that. So my husband and I went dressed as Mario Kart characters with some really good friends, and we had the most amazing time. So my first tip for you is to try to go to the convention with some friends or even try a group cosplay, as it definitely made the whole day a lot more fun, with the highlight being a Mario Kart race that we all did together. So can you guess who won the race? Leave a comment below and stay to the end to find out if you're correct. As you can see, they're not the most highly detailed cosplays. They were literally some cardboard slapped together with some sticky tape and some hot glue, spray paints, acrylic. So really nothing fancy, but they got the most amazing reception. And we've even been featured on the advertising for the 2023 convention. They were also very big cosplays, especially as a group. And so while we had so much fun and loved the reception that we received, there's definitely some tips that we can draw from this. Firstly, you do not need to have the most screen accurate cosplay to have fun. People just appreciate the effort that you've gone to. So whether you buy your cosplays, you make your cosplays, or you use a cos cosplay, just go and have fun and be part of the cosplay community. Secondly, due to the size of the cosplays, we actually had a lot of trouble getting through the crowd and we were getting stopped for a lot of photos and we actually couldn't get into some of the demonstrations and the events. So my tip for you is if it is a two day convention, potentially think about taking just some plain clothes for the second day or even a change of clothes if it's only a one day convention. So that way you can still get around and see some of the other things that the convention has on offer. Don't be like us, don't not plan your day and miss out on half of the convention. Due to the size of the cosplays, it was actually really difficult to have access to your phone. Mine was in a backpack on my back and but with the cart and the backpack, it was just not easy to get access to my phone all the time. And due to this, I didn't get a lot of photos with some of the other amazing cosplayers that were there and I was really disappointed. So my tip for you is if possible, see if you can design something into your cosplay, like a pouch or something like that, that's really easy accessible so that you can get access to your phone and make sure you get those awesome shots. My next tip is to make sure you eat and drink. It is such a long day and it's so easy to just get caught up in the moment and completely forget to do this. Because we were getting stopped for so many photos, we actually had to go and find a nice quiet spot that we could take the carts off so that we could eat and drink. So plan this into your day and even take some snacks in your bag if that's possible. At your first convention, well, any convention really, footwear is key. So if you can try and design your cosplays with some comfortable footwear, if you can, like nobody's looking at your feet really anyway, and you're on your feet all day and you're really going to be feeling it by the end. I was just in some boots and I was still feeling it at the end of the day, but it could have been so much worse. This was also my first experience with Con Crunch, and I can't say that it was a pleasant experience. For the two weekends leading up to the con, we were trying to smash out these carts and we were so exhausted by the end of the day. So if you've got enough time, make sure you try and plan your cosplays to be finished way in advance for the con so that you don't have to experience this as well. And Luigi wins. Did you get that right? And that is not me coming last. Ultimately, just remember to have fun talk to people. Most people are really friendly and they love sharing their own cosplays with you. We had the most amazing experience at our first convention. We learned a lot of things on the way and we can't wait to do it again this year. So if you've been to your first convention, make sure you leave a comment below because I'd love to hear what your experience was like. And if you have some tips for other cosplayers on what they should do at their first convention, also drop that in the comments. I'll see you in the next one.